I'm gonna try to kneel down here because <laughs> I need to get my setup figured out. Like, I. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a hot minute, not like I ever really posted content on a consistent basis, but it's definitely been a while since my last vlog. Um, I'm much more active these days on my secondary Instagram account, which is my poetry slash blog account. And I've been spending so much time writing that um, I haven't really gotten to a vlog. So I'm super excited for this one. I didn't shoot a ton of footage, but I tried to make the best of what I had. Um, it's an Oregon, more of like a northern Oregon coast trip. We started in Portland, went to Astoria, and then traveled down the coast for a while, kind of stopping off at scenic points on the 101. So this is a huge bucket list trip for me. I've been wanting to do this forever. It was really cool going there in January, like in kind of the off season. And of course, the best part being that I got to do it with a really good friend of mine, Mia. So without further ado, let's get into the vlog. And um, I hope you guys enjoy. This was the first day of our trip after flying into Portland late at night and driving to Astoria in the middle of the night <laughs> in the pouring rain, which was probably not the best idea, but um, it put us in a really good position at the start of our trip. Um, when Mia and I first planned this trip, we had planned to not really stay in Astoria, just to use it as the most northern point to start off for the rest of the trip but um i mean as you can see <laughs> we were just blown away by the beauty of astoria and we knew we needed to kind of scrap our original plan and spend some more time here um so we did a little bit of astoria that morning and started driving south um to oceanside which you see here but we also ended up going back to astoria later on um both Oceanside and Astoria were equally as gorgeous. Um, Oceanside is kind of a nice little beach town, kind of a hidden gem, uh, locals favorite apparently, and Astoria is most famous for being the film location of the Goonies, so it definitely has that kind of like magical fantasy vibe to it, and I feel like that's why we loved it so much. Um, here we are at this hidden sea tunnel in Oceanside, Oregon. Uh, it was really cool. I convinced Mia to go into it at low tide. It did look a little bit scary, but it was really fun. And this is the hidden beach on the other side of the sea tunnel. Here's Cannon Beach. Um, you know, super famous, Haystack Rock. This was definitely one of the highlights of our beach visits. We try to kind of even it out between the forest trails and the, the beach. So this is us going back to Astoria, Fort Stevens, which was originally where we had stayed. We saw elk there. We saw my very first bald eagle there. We actually saw three total, I believe, throughout the course of the whole trip, and every time I was just so giddy, like running after them as quietly as I could. Lots of wildlife, big and small, as small as this tiny little frog. I wouldn't have seen him if he hadn't jumped up there. Here we are headed back to Portland, um, but before we got there, we stopped off at Beaver Falls, which was, I mean, it's just raging waterfall, which was, it blew my mind that this was basically just off the side of the road. We didn't have to hike very far at all. You 
I want to mention uh, definitely not all of our trip is pictured here. One of the main things missing is Tillamook, but I was just having so much fun driving through there and looking at the sites. I didn't film everything. Um, Tillamook was one of my favorite places not pictured, but um, this is when we got back to Portland for our last night. We went to Powell's Bookstore and we stayed in a tiny home Airbnb, which was super fun. And then this is us at the Riverwalk right before we had to get on our flight home. So it was a quick trip, but we packed so much in. I can't reiterate enough just how beautiful it was. I was in awe the entire trip. <laughs> 